In this lesson, you will learn how to graph a linear equation by plotting points, also known as using a table of values. We will cover examples where y is isolated on one side of the equation and where both x and y are on the same side of the equation. When y is isolated, the first step is to find three points that are solutions to the equation. Start by choosing any three values for x. Let's choose negative 2, 0, and 3. You can also choose other values, but it is best to pick those that make the calculations easier. Now, substitute each of these x values into the equation and solve for y to find the corresponding y values. Begin by substituting negative 2 for x and solving for y. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. This equals negative 7, right? So, when x is negative 2, y is negative 7. Therefore, negative 2 comma negative 7 is our first point. Next, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. Simplifying this, we find that y equals negative 3, right? Therefore, 0 comma negative 3 is our second point. Next, substitute 3 for x and solve for y. 2 times 3 is 6. So y equals 3, right? Therefore, 3 comma 3 is our third point. Now we have three points that are solutions to the equation. The next step is to plot them on the coordinate plane. Plot the first point, which is negative 2, comma negative 7. Plot the second point, which is 0, comma negative 3. Plot the third point, which is 3, comma 3. Notice that the points line up, indicating that your work is correct. If they do not line up, a mistake has been made, so go back and check your work. Finally, draw a line through the points. This is the graph of the equation. Remember, every solution to the equation is a point on this line. Likewise, every point on this line is a solution to the equation. By the way, you only need two points to graph a line, but it is good practice to use three points as we did here. If you plot only two points and one of them is incorrect, you can still draw a line, but it will not represent the solutions to the equation. It will be the wrong line. If you use three points and one of them is incorrect, they will not line up. This indicates a mistake was made in finding or plotting at least one of the points, so you need to go back and check your work. Now, what should we do when the equation includes a fraction, like in this example? You still need to follow the same steps as before. However, when you choose values for x, pick those that are multiples of the denominator so that it will cancel out. This way, the y values become integers, making them easier to plot later. Otherwise, you may get fractions which are hard to plot precisely. Here, the denominator is 4, so choose x values that are multiples of 4. Let's choose negative 4, 0, and 4. In general, I suggest choosing one value the negative of the denominator, 1 as 0, and 1 equal to the denominator, just as we have done here. Now, substitute each of these x values into the equation and solve for y. Start by substituting negative 4 for x and solving for y. Notice that we can reduce 4 and negative 4 to get negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, right? This equals 3. So, when x is negative 4, y is 3. Therefore, negative 4, 3 is our first point. Next, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. Simplifying this, we find that y equals 2, right? Therefore, 0, 2 is our second point. Next, substitute 4 for x and solve for y. The 4's reduce to 1, right? Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So, y equals 1, right? Therefore, 4, 1 is our third point. Notice that none of the points includes fraction. This is because we carefully selected the x values. If we choose randomly, we may get fractional y values, which are hard to plot precisely. Now, plot each point on the coordinate plane. Plot the first point, which is negative 4, 3. Plot the second point, which is 0, 2. Plot the third point, which is 4, 1. Remember, the graph of a linear equation is a straight line, so the points must line up. Here, they line up, confirming your work is correct. So, draw a line through the points. This is the graph of the equation. Now what if both x and y are on the same side of the equation? In this case, First, isolate y on one side of the equation. This makes it easier to find integer points. 
To isolate y, start by subtracting 4x from both sides. On the left side, these cancel out. On the right side, you have negative 4x plus 20. Next, divide both sides by 5. This gives us y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 4. Now that y is isolated, you can follow the same steps as in the previous examples. Since the coefficient of x is a fraction, choose x values that are multiples of the denominator. Choose one value the negative of the denominator, 1 as 0, and 1 equal to the denominator. Now, substitute each of these x values into the equation and solve for y. Start by substituting negative 5 for x and solving for y. Reduce 5 and negative 5 to get negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4, right? This equals 8. So, when x is negative 5, y is 8. Therefore, negative 5, 8 is our first point. Next, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. Simplifying this, we find that y equals 4, right? Therefore, 0, 4 is our second point. Next, substitute 5 for x and solve for y. The 5s reduce to 1, right? Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. This equals 0, right? Therefore, 5, 0 is our third point. Notice that none of the points includes fraction. This is because we isolated y and carefully selected the x values. If we use the original equation, it would be harder to choose x values that avoid fractional y values, which are difficult to plot precisely. Now plot each point on the coordinate plane. If you want to review how to plot points on a coordinate plane, check the link in the description. Since the points line up, draw a line through them. This is the graph of the equation. Now, it is your turn. Please pause the video and graph the equation by plotting points. I will leave you the solution so you can check your work. First, isolate y on one side of the equation. Next, find three points that are solutions to the equation. Since the equation doesn't include fractions, you can choose any three values for x, but pick those that make the calculations easier. You can choose 0, 1, and 2. Next, substitute these values for x into the equation and solve for y. Then, plot the points. Make sure they line up and draw a line through them. This is the graph of the equation. Remember, the key steps are to find three points, plot them, and draw a line through them. By following these steps, you can graph any linear equation. By the way, there are also other methods to graph linear equations. Check the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.